My name is Bella and I'm the Member of Parliament for Stretton. I'm really pleased to be here with all of you celebrating Windrush Day, um, a day which it took too long uh, to put on the public's book, a day which came about just because of all of us fighting for justice for the Windrush generation. Now, in 1948, you know, people started coming here from across the Commonwealth. When we talk about Windrush, people usually think of the Caribbean, but people were coming from all over the Commonwealth. They were coming from uh, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Nigeria. My own family started coming here um, from Ghana. And all of those countries came here with Britain as the motherland. And when they got here, those individuals were British. They were British. They came. They, um, uh, you know, worked in the public services and they helped rebuild this country. And in a response to, you know, a rise in racism, the government put in place the hostile environment in 2012. And then in 2014, they set about pulling the rug out from underneath the Windrush generation and literally erasing their right to be in this country. And it's not that they didn't know it was going to happen. I remember very clearly Diane Abbott MP, the Member of Parliament for Hackney, standing up and saying to Theresa May, have you thought about this piece of legislation? Have you thought about the fact that if you put this piece of legislation down, it will affect people who you think seem to be not British, quite clearly black. And you know, we're talking about racism at the moment a lot because of the Black Lives Matter movement. And our immigration system is one of the worst examples of how racism plays out in this country. British citizens were literally deported because of the colour of their skin, dehumanised and denied the rights that they worked hard for in this country just because of racism. That's why it's so important that we're here and standing up to today. And as you've heard Sonia say, it is so disgraceful that after all of the promises, after all of the apologies, again and again, the Windrush generation have been denied justice. Some of them have died waiting for compensation. Some of them were never even allowed to return back from different countries. Some of them, you know, had their driving license taken away, their jobs, they were denied health care, they were left homeless, all of these different things. And to this day, only 60 people have been compensated. And even if you look at that compensation scheme, it is a disgrace. What price can you put on ruining someone's life? And some people are being given very piecemeal amounts for that. So it's very, very important that we have a Windrush Day now, that we celebrate the contributions of the Windrush generation made to this country and continue to make. But it's very important that we also continue to push the government. It's a disgrace that they continue to behave the way they are. Justice delayed is justice denied, and they continue to be denied. And it falls upon all of us, every single one of us, to make sure that we secure justice for the Windrush generation. They did not deserve it, and they should never have to face this again. Every single one of them deserves compensation, proper compensation, and we won't stop fighting until they get that justice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.